Nerd, 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 and I'm Alex, and this is Nerdtabulous. And today on Nerdtabulous, we will be reviewing the Disney Marvel feature film, Ant-Man. But before we continue, this is a Marvel movie, and I know a lot of people are going to want to see it. So, spoiler alert, if you worry about that kind of thing, just stop the video, come back. Alright, let's get this started. Review time! Yeah! Alrighty, so in my opinion, Ant-Man was a good film, but it wasn't amazing. To me, it was just good. It wasn't... Like Guardians, for example, an amazing film where you had, you know, everything that just meshed really well together, like the music, the story, the characters, and everything. Because that's one thing about Ant-Man, I didn't feel for any of the characters that made me go, oh, I so feel for you, you know? Because, like, in Guardians, I kind of felt for Groot and Rocket, but you, you don't have that kind of thing in Ant-Man. So, in my opinion, that's, like, just the first thing that... I wanted to say about Ant-Man. Also, I could predict, like, almost everything. The only thing I didn't predict was the fact that they kept the giant, like, the giant ant as a house pet. That was great. That was that hilarious. Was, that was great, yes, the giant ant. But I am a little bit, going to be more positive there. This is my favorite Marvel movie. It reminded me a lot of Ocean's Eleven. It's a good heist film. It's a good superhero film. It's a great... Heck, you could come into this. This was like her second Marvel movie. This is like the only... Third Marvel movie. Third Marvel movie. Well, she saw I, I, Guardians. I saw Guardians, Big Hero 6. Oh, and I saw Avengers. I'm referring to the live action ones. But, so, so, this third. is really... This is third really, live action. This is really the only one you came into, though, involving the main plot of Marvel. Because Avengers is like you're jumping in. This is one where... You, I felt like this is one where you can jump in and kind of get an idea of what's going on. Because it's really... I mean, there's a lot of good meta jokes in it, though. I mean, it was definitely a funny film, don't get me wrong, but I don't like being able um, to sit down in a film and go, okay, so this is going to happen, and then that's going to happen, and then that's going to happen, and then that's going to happen, and then everything I just predicted happens. Like when they're like, when you were like, oh, we had to say after, after the credits because they're going to have this like big reveal, I'm like, it's going to be the wasp suit for the girl. And they're going to be, you know, Ant-Man and the wasp because they were a couple, and oh, they're in the new couple so that's gonna be your suit and you're like oh hang on hang on it might not be that and it's, it's that it was just say, i didn't say hang on hang on it, 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 it was shit it was just yes, yes you did and it was so predictable it was so predictable the end credit scene though you had no idea what was going on <laughs> that was the best part that was the weirdest thing well i got what was going on because i know what the next captain america movie is but we're not reviewing captain america i mean for me the movie i thought was really good i mean one of the funniest lines in the movie was i believe our first course of action should be to call the avengers it's like the best metal line there is I mean, the movie itself, there's a lot of good connections to the Marvel Universe, but there's also a lot of things that make you... you can. This can be your first Marvel movie, and it'll just give you a really good jump start into the, the franchise. Because it's a lot like the first Iron Man. Well, you see, I really like the line, um, you know, I'm, I'm done breaking into places and stealing some shit. And he's like, what do you want me to do? I need to break into some places and steal some shit. Yep. I thought that was a great great line that's great actually delivery. what the line was they changed it for um, the trailers for kids but it, that was yeah like that's the what the actual line, line was, line was. Yeah. it was it was really funny the way he said it though yeah it michael was douglas just is great michael the douglas deadpan was as just Hank him. oh so okay the best, we haven't we've been skipping we, over the best yeah. actor in the whole movie okay to be honest. besides um, paul rudd besides paul okay rudd. so one of my friends not not the guy in the movie but one of my friends is actually named michael Pena, spelled the exact same way as the guy in the movie. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously um, it's the same guy. He put on a lot of weight for that role. Good job, the Michael. Guy Good is job. Like 30 years older than Michael. Um, when I was like 13, I actually went to prom with Michael, and it was actually, it's actually really funny because he's like my brother's like best friend on the entire planet. So this entire time, ever since we saw the whole, oh, we're going to have Michael Payne in the film, we've been like messing with Michael's head going, Michael, I can't wait to see you in Ant Man because, you know, that's totally you, right? So it's just. Michael Pena, though, I actually have to give him very, very, very big props because earlier this oh, year... Oh, the actor is actually amazing. Earlier this year, I saw him on the TV show, the remake of the British TV show, uh, Broadchurch, Grace Point, hmm. which he played this father who uh, of this family who his son got murdered. Oh. And he is like... He, in the show, he is like ominous. He is commanding. He is really... You can feel for the guy. And in this, I'm like... How's he going to bring that? He's the funniest guy you ever see. He, like, plays the generic, stereotypical Mexican, but, oh my god, it is, like, the funniest thing. 
Yeah, the guy who actually played Michael, no, the guy who's actually Michael Best Pena, Stanley cameo who too. played the character in the fil in this film, Ant Man, was actually really funny and great comic relief. Yeah. And it's like, oh, so how you been? Oh, uh, <laughs> my my girl left me, and yeah. and my mom died, and my dad got, got deported. deported. But, but at least he's still the man. man. I was just one of the greatest lines. Oh. Also, the best one of the best scenes in the movie for me was they they they're gonna go help Ant Man. They're driving up to his house in the van with him and the, the two other like parts of the crew, and it's like, we ain't going to let nothing stop us from helping Scotty. They drive up, there's like a police brigade, and they just stare, the Panther just stares at them for like 30 seconds, they're like, just back it up, just, just back, back it up, up. just back they it just up. back it up, and it stays it on there for like hilarious. a minute, it was great. It was hilarious. Oh, so, I just want to give a shout out to one of my friends, Eric Betts, who was helicopter pilot number two, you were the best second helicopter pilot I've ever seen. So, there's that. I mean, poor guy was like one week from retirement, and then he got shot by a weird guy in a shrinking Ant-Man suit with lasers on his back. Poor... Yeah, he, he I don't got... think health insurance covers that, so... Yeah, but, you know, shout out to you, Eric Betts, because you're, yeah. you're awesome. You're, you're just amazing. You kept flying. Um, yeah, oh, we have a question, and it's from Caitlin in Oregon, and she says, Who is your favorite superhero of all time? Your turn this time. <laughs> I'm going to be a cheat here. Uh, Venom. But there, because, you know who Venom is, right? I know who Venom is. Okay, I was making sure because there's different Venoms. I, I know who Venom is. Well, no, there's Eddie Brock and there's different ones. I'm referring to Agent Venom, who in the comic books currently, there was a time in the comic books when Flash Thompson, the guy who bullied Spider-Man, mm -hmm. lost his legs in the war, in like the Iraq war. And when he comes back, they have the Venom suit and they actually give it to him and he becomes like a sec badass secret agent. Yeah, with, like, I, I know, I know about, I know about that Venom, yeah. Oh yeah, he's a, he's a really badass Venom. That's why he's my favorite, just because it's like... I can't it's believe like, you didn't think I knew who like, Venom was. It's awesome. But I don't know which Venom... If, I wasn't referring to the right Venom, so I didn't know if you know what Venom I'm talking about. Five bucks for every time I say Venom. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're millionaires. It's a drinking game, yeah. Venom. Alrighty. Venom. So, alrighty. So, my favorite superheroes of all time... Um, I'm just going to do a... Okay, one, one, okay, my favorite superheroes of all time. I have a few. Um, Groot... Because I, re I really like Groot. He's amazing and is the character you feel for in Guardians of the Galaxy. And I I really, really like Groot. Groot was like my favorite part of the movie. You know? And we are Groot. I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Groot. We are Groot. That was... That made me cry. That really did. I mean, you can ask my best friend. I was like crying in the movie theater for like five minutes. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, I'm fine. Groot just almost died. But so, Groot is one of my favorites and then um i have two other favorites um and they're rogue and nightcrawler from x-men and x-men was the one i really grew up with like it, it was always playing on tv for some you reason x-men evolution that and the movies okay and the movies i was like i was they, like, were, they were both playing when i was i was just thinking of like the little. 80s cartoon because that's actually like her ringtone on my phone is like the 80s x-men cartoon theme. <laughs> i used to all the time that's great. I was like seven. That electric guitar, mm -hmm. that's great. But I mean, I, I grew up with X Men like on TV all the time for some reason. But it was really awesome and they just really kind of stuck with me character wise. So, mm -hmm. yeah, th th those are my favorite characters. Uh, anyway, if for Ant Man, I'd give it uh, four out of four and a half out of five. And the reason why I'm not getting the perfect score, <laughs> even though I really, really like this movie, I really love this movie, is. The romance. Cause, this is a great rating, though. But the romance... No, it's just the romance for me. It's like, every Marvel movie has a romance, and at the end of the movie, you know, they make a joke that Michael Douglas, you know, he's like, the girl Hope, his daughter, walks out, and then he goes to open a door, and then just, like, finishing kissing, and they make a joke out of it, but it's like, kind of came out of left field. I thought he was going to get back together with the wife or something, but it's like, kind of came out of left field. Now you're going to screw the guy's daughter. It's like... Really? Well, his wife's engaged now. Well, but his ex-wife. I thought the guy was going to die. I thought the guy was going to honestly die, is what I thought was going to happen. I mean, the guy, his name is Paxton. Oh, I, I could just see from, like, the way that they had the chick that played Hope, just the way the character Hope looked at him, I'm just like, you know, they're going to get together. That's just going to happen. Well, I knew it was going to happen, but I just wanted more scenes showing that. They had the one scene in the car alone, then they had the one scene, like, somewhere in the, the middle part alone. That was it. They, I mean, that one scene in the car really is the only where they showed any chemistry to each other. That really didn't ruin the movie for me. I but. just, I was just a little pet peeve I have because you know a lot of the Marvel romance, movie, Black Widow Forever. Uh, I'm sorry. I love you, Scarlet. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Uh, but yeah, I 
just a pet peeve, but yeah. My turn? Um, Venom. Don't, don't kill me. Three and a half out of five. I'm sorry. It was just, it was too predictable for me. I don't like being able to sit down in a film and being, okay, this is going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, that's going to happen, and everything I predicted happened. I even predicted the um, tank thing. I'm like, when they gave a close-up for like five seconds of this keychain, and, and this guy can shrink things, I'm like, it's going to be a real tank, and then they're going to somehow be like, oh, this isn't a real tank. Yeah, this, is a, this isn't a keychain, and it turns into a real tank. And that's exactly what happened. See, I could... It was really predictable for me, but I watch a lot of, like, mystery shows, mm -hmm. so I, I guess I'm just odd, because I can, like, predict an episode of Law & Order before it's over. So I'm just kind of weird like that, but it was just a little too predictable for me. But see, I, I, I've seen a lot of Marvel movies, so I actually did predict everything, but I was like, okay, movie, I know what's going to probably happen. Show well, me how good you are at doing it, and do I have well, fun in with I, it? I like to have twists in films, and there just weren't enough twists that... I mean, the only twist that I didn't predict was the keeping the ant as a pet. In all honesty, if I had a giant ant that size, I would keep it as a pet because that was so adorable. I mean, especially because I drink tea all the time. It that can, is like, one messed up dog. It can like that is one messed up dog. It can like dog. bring you like sugar for your for my tea. It was just, it was a cute little. But what about ant. the Thomas train? What happened to the Thomas train? As soon as I hit the window, I'm like, oh, it's gonna, it's gonna like blow up and pull, pull a giant hole through the roof. I just knew that was gonna happen. But yeah. Three, at, three and a half out of five. Um, it was a good film. I definitely say you should watch it if you like Marvel or superheroes or anything dork related to begin with. It's a good film. Um, would I go back and watch it 500 other times in the theater? No. Yes. But it was good. It was definitely good. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my top five. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned every week for more nerdy things. Nerd, 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 nerdtabulous. Nerd, 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 nerdtabulous. Nerd, 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 nerd,